Have you ever thought to yourself, why am I stuck in iron? Why am I stuck in bronze? Why am I stuck in silver? Don't worry, because this is the video for you. Tip number one. Minions are important. See these little guys? They're called minions, and they're your biggest source of gold in League of Legends. Last hitting is one of the most important things in the game. If you last hit minions better than your lane opponent, you will get ahead in gold, which you can turn into kills, because more items equals more damage. Just take a look at the gold difference here. If you last hit the entire burst minion wave, you get 99 gold. Imagine that in 10 waves, you have 999 gold just from last hitting minions. Tip 2. Limit your champion pool and find a main champion. League of Legends has a bunch of champions to pick from, and this can be overwhelming for newer players. But don't fear. My tip for you here is to pick two or three you like and stick to those champions. Optimally, you'd play two different champions for every role, but let's start small. Scroll through the champion list and pick five you really like the look of. Now, take a look at their abilities and lower the pool to just three. Try them out in the game, and if you enjoy them, then congratulations, you found your first mains. If you play a smaller amount of champs, you will get better at the game faster overall. Knowing how much damage you will deal, how your champion does in certain matchups against another champion, those are the things that will come with champion experience. Tip number three, read up on enemy champions while you're in the loading screen. We have an amazing amount of information readily available to us thanks to Google. If you're playing against a champion you don't really know that well, a Google search is all it takes for you to learn what exactly you're up against. From abilities to cooldowns, keep these things in mind or open on a tab on a different screen and get that advantage for yourself in the lane. Let's say I'm playing against Renekton and I don't know his skills or cooldowns. All it takes is to type Renekton in Google and you have all the info you need. Tip number four, use wards. Wards are a very important tool to keep you safe from walking into ambushes, dying to enemy ganks, losing objectives and many more. For example, you can place a ward right here in the river bush. Then when you're pushing, you'll be able to see if the enemy jungler is on his way to gank you and you will save your own life and deny 300 gold for one of the enemies. You can also buy pinks in the shop. They don't expire. These cost 75 gold. But again, if you have 75 gold to spare, you might as well buy one and potentially secure a lead against the enemy team with it. Tip number five. Always help your jungler if he starts on your side. Junglers, mythical creatures that they are, will almost always start with the buff, with just a few exceptions. It is your job as a laner, except for mid laners, they get to do whatever they want, to help your jungle take down said buff. All you have to do is basic attack five or six times and your jungle will be happy and potentially gank you more. And you won't lose anything by doing so. Win-win. Tip number six. You can ward or flash a little bit further if there's a wall. The ward and flash range can be extended a little bit if there's a wall between you and set flash or ward. Take a look here for some examples. As you can see, the wall is a little bigger than my flash range, but since I'm close enough to the range of over the halfway point of the wall, I'll still be able to flash over it. The same goes for wards, and they actually added a nice little marker of where your ward is going to appear. Tip number seven, play with Smartcast on. Playing with Smartcast is something I wish I started doing a lot faster. Your abilities come out at double the speed when you're using Smartcast. If you play without Smartcast, this is what it will look like. Now compare it to playing with Smartcast. It takes a little while to get used to it, but it will pay off. Most, if not all high rank players play the game like this. Tip number eight, the most important thing on your screen. 
The map is one of your essential tools in League of Legends. A really good player will be looking at the map more than the actual game itself. It has tons of information on it, such as where the enemy players are. If they're not on the map, then you should be careful, because they might be roaming towards you. You can also spot the enemy jungler sometimes, see where your teammates are, and more importantly, your jungler. Try to look at the map at least once every 10 seconds or so. Get the information out of it as fast as you can. Once this becomes a habit, you'll be able to do it without losing focus on the game. Tip number 9. Use pings and communicate. League of Legends has a handy tool available called pings. With pings, you can quickly tell your teammates what to expect or what to do. You can do the normal ping by holding Alt and left clicking. You can also use the danger ping by holding Alt, holding left click and then dragging upwards. The same thing for on the way but to the right. Assist downwards and enemy missing to the left. You can also hold control and then left click for a quick cautious ping, even on the map. Tip number 10 and last tip for the day. Understand items. Understanding what to build is vital in League of Legends. Here for example, we are laning against Nasus. We learned from looking at the wiki that Nasus deals mostly physical damage, so that means we should mainly build armor items, since they counter physical damage. You should not build magic resist items in the case the entire enemy team is physical and vice versa. On the other hand, if you're a damage dealer and they have tanks, you have to get penetration items so you can get through their armor or magic resist. You can mostly follow the recommended build, League Incorporated, and you'll be fine. Thank you all for watching guys, I hope you learned something new today and I'll see you all on the next video, peace.